Now, St. John, what was it Thomas asked me to tell you? Uh, or was it Henry and Melanie I was to tell what to? Oh, yes, of course, this postcard from one of your old students. Um, we couldn't resist having a look. Postcards being somehow in the public domain, one always thinks, <laughs> at least when they're other people's. Uh, do read it out to Anita and Mark. Don't be modest, St. John. I must write him to thank you for all excellent times in your most glorified classes, your true Ferdinand Muller. Oh, Lord. And which one was he? Can you recall? Um, oh, well, he, 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 he was German. Postmarked Zurich, I believe, so more likely a Swiss. Oh, yes, that's right, he was a Swiss. Yes, well, he was rather large. Eddie, with a sort of round face in his forties or so, and with his hair cut en brosse. And wearing lederhosen, perhaps, and good at yodeling. <laughs> no, no, St. John, I don't think I quite believe in your rather caricature Swiss. I suspect you made rather more impression on Herr Ferdinand Muller than he managed to make on you. Still, I suppose that's better than the other way round. But uh, his sentiments are certainly quite a tribute that his English were too, eh? <laughs> but do try to remember them, St. John. Match names to faces. And on that subject, you haven't forgotten that Mr. Middleton begins today, have you? Who, Eddie? Middleton, Dennis Middleton, our new part-timer. Thomas told you all about him at that last staff meeting. He should be here any minute. So I'll, I'll make him the students welcome. Perhaps you'll do the same for him and tell him that Thomas or I will be along before the bell. Mark. Hmm? Middleton, Mark. Oh, oh, yes, Eddie. Yes, yes. <laughs> good, good. Well, see you all at the bell, then. Oh, Mark, one other thing. If I could have just a quick private word. Uh, might I put in my personal plea against the beard? <laughs> I do think they make even the handsomest chaps look red-eyed and snivelly looking. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't want to end up begging Camellia to uh, be Delilah to your Samson. <laughs> and then think of poor little Tom, too, having to endure Daddy's whiskers against his chubby young cheeks at cuddle time. <laughs> 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 what did I say? It was only about the beard. I couldn't have been more playful. No, it's not your fault, Eddie. The poor chap's had a horrible weekend. I'll go and see if he's all right. Uh, could you direct me to the staff room, please? What do you want? I'm the new member of staff. Oh, of course. You're Mr. Middleton, aren't you? Uh, yes, uh, Meadle, actually. Derek Meadle. Yes, yes, Derek Meadle. Yes, and, and uh, I'm Eddie Loomis, the principal. Uh, one of two principals, as a matter of fact. You've met Mr. Cull, of course. Yeah. And uh, this is St. John Quartermain, who's been with us ever since our school started. Look at that. And you've come down to join us from Huddersfield, isn't it? Uh, yes, well, Hull, actually. Hull. Good, good. And when did you arrive? Uh, yesterday afternoon. Aha. Uh -huh. Good, good. And found yourself a room? Yes, sir, thank you. And found yourself a bicycle, too, I see. Oh, yes. Um, my landlady happened to mention that her son had left one behind in the basement yeah. and that I could have it for two pounds. Oh, most but... good, good. Most enterprising, at least, of your landlady. But, Mr. Meadle, I've got to go and talk to the students. And Mr. Cull is still looking after enrolment. But one of us will be back before the bell to introduce you to your first class. Intermediary comprehension, isn't it? Uh, dictation. Sir. Quite. So I leave you in St. John's capable hands. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Meadle, one thing, though. Sir, us no sirs. We are very informal here. I'm Eddie, and uh, Mr. Cull is Thomas. And you're Dennis. What? It's a minibus. Oh, on earth. Good heavens, it's the Turks. Our three delightful. But I must tell them they mustn't. They really mustn't. Hey, 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 hey. What a fair that way. There, that way. In the office. It's always a bit chaotic on the first day of town. <laughs> I must say, jolly glad to have you with us. And I think you'll enjoy it here. The staff is, well, they're terrific. And the students are very interesting, coming as they do from all quarters of the globe, so to speak. But look, now do sit down and make yourself at oh, home. Yes, thank you. 
Um, the trouble is, you see, I've, I've had a bit of an accident. Oh, yeah. um, oh, Lord. How bad is it, actually? Oh. Well, they're a bit of a write-off, I'm afraid. How did it happen? Some bloody Japanese man. I rode into a little pack of them as I was coming up the drive. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you think I should do? I mean, if I pull them up really high like this and leave my clips on, does it still show? Well, no, not really. Look, I'll tell you what. If you could just get your jacket down just a fraction. But, but if I put my hands in my pockets like this, uh, what about it? Well, how does it feel? Extremely unnatural. How do I look? Jolly formidable, actually. Well, I can't walk around like this all day. I'm meant to be teaching. It's my first day of my new job. Shit, it's shit. Ah. Henry, come and meet our new chap. Oh, yes, of course. Merton, isn't it? Middleton, actually. Meadle, as a matter Meadle, of fact. Meadle, that's right. I'm so sorry. Dennis Meadle. <laughs> Well, whatever yours happens to be, mine's Winscape. Henry Winscape. How do you do? How do you do? Very glad to have you with us. Thank you. Henry's our academic tutor. Syllabus and all that. Oh. Oh, St. John, I didn't thank you properly last night for babysitting. It was most kind. No, no, not at all. I enjoyed it, Henry. And how were they in the end? Susan, little Fanny, and old Ben. Oh, fine, thank you, St. John. Fine. I didn't get Susan to bed till midnight, of course. She is studying for her O-levels a couple of years in advance. Oh, by the way, though, she did have rather a bad moment, actually, when she went to have a bath and thought little Fanny was lying in it, drowned. Oh, yes, that blessed dog. Yes, Ben told me you put it there. <laughs> the St. John was good enough to come over and sit for our three last night. We went to see M, you know. Such a fine film. So, so delicate and human in its treatment of a, a sexual freak. And um, Peter Laurie. <laughs> Unfortunately, the print was a trifle worn, but... Still memorable, memorable. Mm. But isn't it interesting, on another subject, this English thing about names, the way we forget them the second we hear them. Just now, for instance, when Cindy was introducing you, unlike Americans, you see, I suppose it's because we, well, the English, that is, are so busy looking at, at the person the name represents or not looking, being English, well, <laughs> that, we, that we don't take in the name itself. Whereas the Americans, you see, make a point of beginning with the name. I mean, when one's introduced, they repeat it endlessly. This is Dennis Meadle. Why, hello, Dennis. And how long have you been in our country, Dennis? This is Dennis Meadle, dear. Dennis was just telling me how much he liked our fair city, weren't you, Dennis? <laughs> and so forth. Derek, actually. Ah, oh, there's Melody. Come and meet. Our new chap. Uh, you're on top form for a Monday morning, Henry. How do you do? I'm Melanie Gar. Meadle, Derek Meadle. And you've come to reinforce us. Well, we certainly could do with you. I've just been talking to Thomas about the enrollment chaos. You'll be getting a lot of overspill from my groups, I can tell you. Melanie is our elementary conversation specialist, by the way. I don't know about specialist, Henry. Henry's our only real specialist here. He specializes in, well, everything, doesn't he, St. John? from pronunciation to British life and institutions. But what I enjoyed most about the sight of you two philosophizing away here was that you both still had your bicycle clips on, as if you'd met on a street corner. <laughs> Good heavens, so they are. Thank you for reminding me, my dear. Whenever I forget to take them off, I spend hours after school hunting for them. 